What is the solubility of lanthanum-3 iodate in a solution that contains 0.200 molar of iodate ions? The KSP of lanthanum-3 iodate is 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12. So this is a solubility equilibrium problem. So the first thing you need to do is to write the dissociation of the insoluble salt. So we have here La IO33. And that's a solid. It dissociates into its ions, which are La3+, plus, that's of course aqueous, and 3 moles of IO3-, minus, which is also aqueous. So now that we have our equation, we can now make an I stable. So initial change in equilibrium. So... Please be reminded that when you're making an ice table, you only include aqueous and gases. So solids and liquids are not included in making an ice table. So we will not include the reactant. So let's focus on the products. So initially, there's none of the La3+, plus, so that's zero. For IO3 minus, according to the problem, we have 0 0.200 molar of IO3 minus. So you put there 0 0.200. Now let's move to change or C since these are products. So for LA3 plus, we do plus X. And for IO3 minus, we do plus 3X. 3X because there's a coefficient 3 in iodate. And for equilibrium, that's X for lanthanum 3 plus and 0 0.200 plus 3X for iodate. Now, after doing the I stable, you now need to write the KSP expression. So, same as uh, the rules in making an I stable, when you write the KSP expression, you only include gases and aqueous species. You do not include solids and liquids in the KSP. So KSP is products divided by reactants. So our products are La3 plus and IO3 minus. Remember to raise it to 3 because of the coefficient. Divided by the product, since our product is solid, so you don't include that into the KSP expression. So this is our KSP expression. After writing the KSP expression, you need to substitute the values. So the KSP given is 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12. So that's the KSP in the question. That's equal to lanthanum 3 plus is X. And IO3 minus is 0 0.200 plus 3X. Don't forget to raise it to 3. Now... We use approximation to solve this problem easily. So how do we do the approximation? You look at the KSP value. As you can see, 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12 is a very, very small number. It's close to zero. So that means x is also a very, very small number. So we can let 3x to be equal to zero. So that's how the approximation works. And if we do that, our equation will become 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12. That's equal to x. And we have 0 0.200 raised to 3. So to solve for x, we need to divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.200 raised to 3. So 0 0.200 cube would cancel on the right side. So x will remain on the right side. And on the left side, we have 7.5 times 10 to the negative 12 divided by 0 0.200 raised to 3. That's equal to 9.375 times 10 to the negative 10. And of course, since we're talking about solubility, the unit is molar. 
So the answer to this question is 9.375 times 10 to the negative 10 molar.